Hey guys, just getting back to you. Um, this is a uh, General Electric uh, WWSE 5240 G3WW washer machine. Now it's got a uh, very slow spin cycle. Um, everything else is working as intended. The uh, agitator is going back and forth. Um, the uh, load size and temperature control and everything it seems to be working and the timer is working. Now I have the lid switch or the magnet on here so that way I can show you what it's doing. Now something I did a little research is that I went and bought the GE technical service guide for this particular washing machine series. And what I learned is this. When a brake resistor circuit is detected in the motor, the LED blinks nine times at a space or at a rate of quarter of a second on and a quarter of a second off for the remainder of a six second period. Maximum speed is limited to 50 RPMs. I would say that looks like 50 RPMs. And if I can get down here to do the LED all right. Okay. Okay, we're going to start counting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. So, that being said, oh, that being said, Let me look this up. Nine LEDs flashing. Number of flashes. Description and action. Nine flash. Brake resistor open. Replace motor. So, lo and behold, I bought a new motor. So, I have to put it in, so I will be back. Stay tuned. Okay, I removed the motor, and uh, this is what it looks like. And this is the old motor, and here's the replacement motor. So I'm going to put that in, get the belt back on, and uh, and uh, I'll be back with you. Hey guys. Uh, just a further update, I got the, uh, the motor in. Um, obviously, I had a disconnect. Let's see if I can hold this here. I had to disconnect this. And see, this one and this blue one. Um, this, this little blue one, you don't have to disconnect that because that's it's a lead that goes right back into the motor. So um, now I had to put the belt on and that was a lot of fun. Now what I might want to recommend if you ever take it upon yourself to do this task is, um, all right, I'm going to lose the light here, but I'm Basically, get one of these belt changing tools, and it's basically two pieces that mate um, to here, and you roll the uh, roll the gasket on. Now you do it, do it like this. Okay, here's the gasket or the uh, the belt changing tool, or at least it's, it's not really much of a tool, but I'll kind of I'll kind of demonstrate. Um, so that way, 
you can put, this is the old belt, but um, you can put the new belt on and basically you got to wind this around the pulley. Now, what I did is use like two twist ties, um, two or nylon zip ties and basically zip them up in two spots close to each other. So that way when you go and wind, wind this thing on, that when it gets close to the uh, the uh, other end, that it doesn't it doesn't pull you know slip off. So yeah, so even though that this is fifty bucks, it's worth its weight in gold. Don't uh, put a belt on with that one. All right, it's back together. Um, Seems to be agitating like it was before. It's smoother on my mind. But anyway, I'm going to uh, move it to the spin cycle. All right, I'm back. I did a, uh, um, I got it up and running, and I went and filled it up. On, I didn't show the fill part, and it did agitate back and forth in a normal normal cycle so um i went and sped it up to uh the drain and spin um like i said i got the magnet on here so that way we can we can watch all this happen so yeah um just letting it do its thing And I might add that this is not my washing machine. So. Doing this as a favor for a, uh, hopefully a future brother-in-law. Anyway. Um, it's draining. Just waiting for it to do its thing. Um, I don't know if I can view the LED. Yeah, this, this one's kind of a different setup, but, but anyway, um, obviously it's probably some kind of aftermarket uh, replacement. But nevertheless, uh, we shall see if it uh, does its thing. Would you look at that? I think that's turning at more than 50 RPMs. But anyway, um, looks like this is an improvement from the uh, from what it was before. And folks, I will take it. Hopefully, this helps. Okay, here we go on super spin. Ooh.
Hampshire where they test these things out at General Electric. They don't need air conditioning. You got one of these running. Ooh, it's quite the breeze. Ah, baby. Go, baby, go! Yeah! I need to drop my phone in there. Anyway, as you can see, it's uh, really, really spinning. Problem fixed. Hopefully this video was a help to those 